Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to this two-part tutorial on creating a private orders shop in PrestaShop and 30Bs. Now in the first part, we will see how to add a manual approval for new customers and in the second one, we will see how to prevent orders from people who are not registered and approved by us. So let's get to it. I'm going to use PrestaShop 1.6 for the demo, but the modification works in 30Bs as well. And bear in mind, it does not work in PrestaShop 1.7. That said, let's get started with the auth controller. So I'm going to edit the core files as, al as I always do, but please make sure you use overrides instead. So I will open up controllers front authcontroller.php and around line 455 in my process shop version you can see we have customer active equals one this property is set in the process submit account method so you want to look for that and scroll down till you find customer is guest you want to set this to zero so that the user cannot perform any action right away now we also want some feedback after this happens so we will redirect a uh, our customer to a custom page let's scroll down a few lines till we find uh, ajax die and the redirects so i'll add a new one tools redirect and it's going to be this context link get page link and we're gonna pass in welcome now uh, as the page name now of course this page does not exist yet but we'll create it in a moment for that though we have to take care of a little issue um, I will save in the meantime and anyway since um, the user has been created but, but set to inactive the system treats it as banned by default so even if we redirect to a new page we would instantly be kicked back um, out of the session and redirect it to the login page so we want to create an exception so that the welcome page can be displayed let's go ahead and open up classes customer dot PHP so what we want to edit is the is band method and within this we want to add an exception for our welcome page so if context get context controller PHP underscore self which represents the page name equals welcome then we will return false which means that our uh, customer is not banned yet at least cool so now for our welcome page I'll create a new controller and a template file that will go into the theme folder so I'll go back to controllers front and I'll just copy and paste one to be quicker I'll call it welcome controller I'll open it up uh, I guess it's out of screen here let me just bring it up a little bit so uh, this is the thing here welcome controller I just copied and pasted the supplier controller for that I will just erase everything apart from the PHP tags so our class or better say controller but class is going to be named welcome controller core since we're not using any override extends front controller and this is the standard method to create any new page in press the shop and 30 bs so it's going to have a public php self which is the one we just used a second ago called welcome since it has to match what we used and then it's going to have um, a public function named init content which is inherited from its uh, parent the front controller it's going to call the parent so parent init content first 
and then it's going to return a template. So this set template in the um, press the shop theme directory and it's going to be named welcome.tpl. Okay, so let's create this new welcome.tpl template right now. I will go back in, in themes, default bootstrap in my case. I will just, again, control C to copy, control V or command V to paste. I will call it welcome.tpl. Open up, erase everything. And first off, I want to give the breadcrumbs something to play with. So I'll add a capture, which is a smarty tag. I will call it name path. And it's going to hold our um, the name of our page for the breadcrumbs. So ls equals welcome. And then I'm going to close the capture tag. Now, the real thing, the HTML for this page. So I'll add an H1 with a ls string welcome to. I'm going to use shop name, which is a variable that's available in every single page in Presta Shop and 30Bs. Add exclamation mark. Then I'm going to add, I don't know, horizontal room, add a p tag, and Let's write something to welcome our new customer. So ls, uh, your account is currently um, under review. You will receive an email as soon as it is validated. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and try it now, but before that, I will go back and clear my cache. So I have to clear the class index since I created a new controller. Otherwise, the system would not recognize it. So I'll just go ahead and re erase it. Um, no, don't worry, because this is going to be recreated automatically by uh, Price of Shop or 3Bs. I will go back to my website, refresh. Now let's try to sign in now. So sign in, create a new account, oh no, something at me.com. And whatever name it is, I don't care. Uh, password, I have to use it later, so I'm going to use a password. And I'm going to register All right, if everything was correct. OK, we are, uh, we reached the uh, controller. The welcome controller, but nothing is displaying for some reason. So let me just uh, check this out. So I have my welcome.tpl. Welcome.tpl is here. And let's see. Welcome.tpl. Okay, it's barely not reading my page, so I probably didn't use init content right I didn't content that's a pencil actually so let me refresh okay cool that's my welcome I'm still logged in just to see this page but as soon as I reach another page you can see I am signed out pretty cool Okay, so the next step is to send out an email when the status is changed to active for the new customer in the back office, of course. So I will open up admin, uh, sorry, controllers, admin, admin customers controller.php. And in this function, in sorry, in this class, we're going to add a new method named function process status. And this is inherited from the admin controller. So actually, I will just go ahead and copy from my notes since the, the code is quite long. So I'll just go through it with you. So if we have an object, so if we have the customer object from the parent, uh, we want to make sure the object's class is customer and the object has been set to active. 
If so, we send out an email. Now, this is the core method PrestaShop and 30Bs use to send emails out. So the first parameter is the language and we want to make sure we use the customer's language because we don't, we don't want to send you know an email in English for a French customer, for example. The email template name is the second parameter. Then we have the email title. Then we have a set of parameters that are going to be available, and this is actually wrong. Just notice um, in the in the actual template. So we're going to pass in the customer's name. Then we're going to use the customer's email as receiver of this new mail and the customer's name as receiver's name. Of course, we're using our shop's email and our shop name as sending email and sending name for the function. I'm going to save and uh, of course there is no such email template. There is no account activated template by default. So we have to create it. Um, I suggest copying an existing one just to be quicker. So I will go back and in my mails en folder because I'm going to use an email, uh, sorry, an English account. I'm going to copy one of these. You can use any really. Um, you have to copy both the txt and the HTML, so I'm gonna copy and paste. I'm gonna call them like my uh, specified template. So account activated, activated. All right. So I'm gonna edit the TXT first. Um, I'm gonna write something like um, welcome name since this is the um, the parameter we passed in welcome name exclamation mark uh, your account has been activated uh, you can now browse our store and place orders and whatever else this is just an example of course you can you can add more stuff as you please so I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna open up the account activated dot HTML in my um, editor here and I will scroll down till I find something so I'm gonna do it let's see here in this TR, I'm not going to use class box. I'm just going to get rid of whatever I don't need. Uh, and again, you will, you will have to know a little bit of HTML to perform these modifications. I uh, will get rid of this, which is extra. Get rid of the table. Just leave the body. I'm going to add my text here, and I'm I think I'm going to get rid of. Or actually, I'm going to change this to name activated activated all right that's it basically so I'll go ahead and enable this client I'm not gonna wait for the email to be sent but it's uh, it's gonna work no worries just just in case uh, make sure that uh, make sure to test emails as well since um, sometimes they do fail, uh, fail for odd reasons. So if you don't see it coming, triple check the template names and make sure they're located in the proper path for each language of your uh, website, uh, each language the website is using. So this is everything for part one. In part two, we will see how to prevent orders in case a customer is not registered, which is fundamental not to break the system if you have a one-page checkout as right now, that one would display an error. So stay tuned for part two coming up soon. And this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for the latest Presta Shop and 30Bs tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.